How are we going to make a change? How can we truly transform these realities? We start where we are born. We start looking at the surroundings of our own communities, our own nation. Change begins with acknowledging that you have a problem. That's the first step. I once heard the curse of poverty is not hunger, but it's rejection. You feel like you're lesser. You feel like you don't belong. You feel like you're unworthy. These marginalized communities want your acceptance and that will create an amazing resistance against extremist perspectives. Those who have been left behind, those voices that have been muffled, those voices that have been denied justice, those voices that have been continued to be ignored from generation after generation, while we benefit as the privileged in society. Many times people would like to assume that we are the underdogs, we are the victims, we are the ones who have been forgotten, but the truth is, Many of us are extremely privileged and we continue to live life as if we have no responsibility to the rest. No, we're here till we can truly say our nations are different because we refuse to be numb to these realities. We refuse to say it's not my problem. We are working day in and day out so that our children will inherit something that they can be proud of. Too many young people in our world today don't hear the alternative. Yes, there are injustices, yes, there are grievances, but they believe that violence is the only option. But if they hear the other story, the other narrative by mentors and experiences across ethnic lines and racial lines, they will make better decisions. And that is our goal. Today's terrorist, today's extremist, is yesterday's young person looking for acceptance, looking for an identity, looking for an opportunity. And that is the moment where you and I moderate global citizens need to be in their lives. You have to start impacting key influential young leaders now because they're growing out of their capacity to hope. You will see results for the effort that you put and your life will be celebrated for who you are and not judged for who you are not. We can't continue to manage the symptoms of our issues. We have to go upstream and deal with the deeper issues. But what's the point of our children having a good future if injustice reigns rampant around in their world? What's the point of them living a dream of being a doctor, an engineer, or a lawyer, or whatever dreams our developing country parents have for us, if the rest of society is in decay? We need to raise up a generation who refuses to tolerate and refuses just to be limited to a selfie or a tweet or a Facebook post or become social justice warriors on a keyboard but decide to sacrifice their lives to work until we see change and I believe you are that person.